Okay, hey, let's, let's get a fighting robot. Okay, let's, let's build a fighting robot, a very basic program. So I've got my robot turned on. Let me just fold up those little arms for a little second right now. Let me just tuck those behind there. So, so they're not gonna be in the way right now. Okay, so here's the robot, it's turned on. Obviously I got a light sensor here and we're ready to go. I've got the app opened up on my uh, iPad here. It's just the uh, EV3 classroom one right there. So open that up and it opens up to somebody's here. Okay, and I'm connected here. You can see that I've got the little green light right there that I'm connected to that iPad. And that was in the video before this about how to connect to it. Okay, so, so I'm good to go, um, but it's probably gonna open up to someone else's program. So I'm just gonna hit the X up here. That's gonna take me back to this. Uh, sometimes it takes you to here. You know, this is where all the programs will be listed here, uh, but, uh, but I'm just gonna go X out of that and I'm going to start a new project. Okay, so here's my new project, okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name the project. So up here where it says project, uh, it, uh, it's called project two right now. I'm going to tap on the three dots, go to rename, and then I'm going to put my initials. Because remember, you share this iPad with a bunch of other students. So I'm going to put CBF for Charles Bradley Flickinger. And I'm going to have this, um, what, what should we call this one? This is just uh, um, fight, I'm going to call it fight. Uh, number one or something like that. Let me just uh, fight one. Okay, because this is my first fighting program. So I'm just gonna call it fight one, hit save. And now that I've got it there, so if I ever go back to the home page, you can see that it's right there, CBF fight one. So I can find my own work and uh, there we are. Okay, so we've got the CBF fight one and now let's let's do it. So we want the robot to, to come forward, stop when it detects the black line with the little color sensor, back up, spin around a little bit and then go forward again. And hopefully we're just going to run into the other robot. I mean, there's not, not a lot of strategy here except for just luck, but I mean, this is a good basic program. So let's, let's just uh, see what we got here. So I'm gonna go to controls and I'm gonna go find the forever loop and I'm gonna go, it's orange, I'm gonna go put that, connect that there, because we want it to run forever, right? Until it pushes the other robot off. So we just wanna just keep going, and then we'll have to press the stop button to get it to actually stop. And then I need another um, loop in here, and it's this one here, it's called if blank, then else. So if blank, then else. And I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna put that inside the forever block. And you see how it opened up and it put it inside of it now? Okay, so that's there. And then I've got to go tell it to get a sensor and I'm going to grab the first one, which is the, the three is reflected light intensity and it's a little bit cut off there. It's the very top one. And I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put the point of that inside that little blank area. And you see it kind of lit up a little bit there. Okay. I'm going to let go of it and then it gets sucked inside of it. Okay. Now let's take a look at what's happening with the sensors. I can see that port four has the color sensor and right here on the white, it's giving me a reading of 76, 75. That's 75% 75 of the light is being reflected back at it, okay? And if I go over here to the black line, it drops down to 6% of the light is being reflected back. So that's a big difference between 70 and six. So what I'm gonna tell it is first of all, I need to change it from port three. I can see that my, my, um, my color sensor is actually port four. So this would be incorrect programming. So I've gotta tell it, no, port four is reflected light intensity greater than, I'm gonna say 20%, okay? Because um, if it's 6% here, that's definitely less than 20%, and 70 here, it's definitely greater than 20%. 20% is just a good, uh, a good just buffer for me to be there, okay? So if it's greater than 20%, so the first thing we need to do when it comes up to this line here is let's go here to movement and let's just say, let's drag this pinkish one here under there and say stop moving. That's the first thing we need to do is, is stop moving, okay? Then let's grab this top one here, move forward for uh, one rotation, but we actually need it to move, change that to backwards for one rotation. So it backs up to like here, okay? Got it. In fact, let me change that right now to two rotations, just so it'll back up a little bit further. Okay, so back up for two, two rotations. Hear what you said. Sorry, Siri thought I was talking to her, but I'm not. Okay, so let's see, we moved it backwards. Uh, so then let's go, um, hmm. 
Then I'm going to, let's go with here with just the eight or with just the, you know what, I'm, I've just been thinking just while I'm, this two rotations, okay, I like that, but let's have um, run, let's go with this top one here under the blue motors. Let's put that underneath it. So now we need it to rotate. So we just need one of the motors to work. And I've got my motors on B and C. So there's actually nothing in A. So I'm gonna change that to B, run clockwise for one rotation. Hmm. You know what? I like to kind of mess with the universe a little bit. Because if this runs every time, it'll just keep running the exact same thing because it's just gonna keep doing the one rotation. But what I want it to do is maybe have a little bit of a randomness to it here. So, so I'm gonna go down here to um, the green operators here, and I'm gonna take that first one to pick a random number, and I'm going to, again, put the tip of it, the, the start of it, inside that little, where the one rotation was. Now it's been sucked inside of it. So you can see that green one. Pick a random number between one and five. So it might spin for one rotation, it might spin for five rotations. So it's kind of random, so, so my opponent is not gonna know what I'm doing. They're gonna, not gonna be able to predict it, okay? So I think that's good, and then, um, and so I think we've got the first part program. What happens when it comes across the black line? It's going to back up two rotations, and it's gonna spin a random number of spins, and then it's, now we still haven't told it to go forward yet, and that's where we gotta to go to this else part right here. So let's go back to movement, and let's just go, um, start moving straight. Let's just take that one. Start moving straight. And that's all we need to have there, I think. Because I think we've told it now exactly what to do. If it detects the light and it's um, greater than 20, then everything else is fine. But if it's less than 20, then it knows to stop moving, move backwards, spin, and then it'll just, and it'll just keep going to that one. And it's going to play forever. Okay. Fingers crossed, let's hope it doesn't drive off the end of the earth here. Oh, do you know what? We forgot the most important one. Not the most important one, but it's one of the ones. Under control, go grab the first one which says wait one second and go sneak that in right there at the top, okay? That should be the very first block after the when program starts and change that to five seconds. That's actually a regulation from Sumo Bots is that it has to have a five second delay. That gives a chance for everybody to get their hands out of the way. If you ever have something that you don't want, like let's say I have like this here somewhere, if you don't want it anymore, you just grab it and drag it back to the menu here and it disappears. It's like deleting it, okay? So if I ever wanted to change one of those. But I think, I think this is looking good. Fingers crossed, let's press the, uh, I'm just gonna press the, uh, the play button right here and that's gonna download it because we're connected. And now five seconds, four, three, two, one. I don't really trust it. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look. It just, it just pushed the box off. This is great. Okay, it's not driving off the edge. You guys, I think we have a successful robot here. I think it's doing its right thing. I think that's doing great. Oh, good job, Scrappy. You're doing really good, buddy. You're doing really good. No one can touch you, man. There it is. Hope you had fun. I can't wait to see you. And uh, maybe I'll show you how to do the seek and destroy one in a little bit. So good luck.